Vitam ponovne na mojim kanale. Welcome back to my channel. Of all the ways that I am connected to my Polish heritage, the one that I value the most is being able to communicate in Polish. Today I am thrilled to have Dave z Ameryki on my channel to share his Polish fluency journey alongside me, the Polish girl next door. On his channel, Dave primarily speaks to a Polish-speaking audience living in Poland or in the U.S. about Polish and American culture, as well as teaching the English language. Our ethnic identities are very similar. We are both children of Polish immigrants and we communicate in Polish. So in the spirit of a more get to know me kind of video, I decided to respond to and ask Dave some questions regarding our Polish fluency. Yes, Polish is my native language. I did not speak or learn how to speak in English until I was probably in the first grade. For sure, it was the first language that I spoke, that I learned, and it wasn't until I was about five years old that I started to learn English just because of television and going to school. I was born in Poland and then moved to the U.S. when I was five. So for the first five years of my life, I was only surrounded by Polish and I only spoke Polish. Growing up, I was not permitted to speak in English at home whatsoever. I remember in first or second grade when my English was already starting to get really good and maybe I would even say I was starting to speak English better than Polish. And it was just this transitional period and I remember coming home and telling my mom very matter of factually like, oh well, as of today, I'm, I'm only going to speak English to you guys and uh, you can speak Polish to me, but I'm, not, I'm only going to respond in English. And of course, my mom had none of it. She was just like, no, in this home, we only speak Polish. And that was the end of the story. Yes, I did attend a Polish Saturday school every week for probably close to a decade. Uh, ever since I was very young, I, I can't even recall when I first attended a Polish Saturday school, but I did. And I mean, to some degree, I'm sure it helped with my fluency to some degree because we always had an hour of Polish language, then we had Polish song, music, we would sing, and then Polish dance. So yes, to a certain degree, and those Polish language classes were always taught by Polish language teachers who were Polish language teachers in Poland, but then emigrated here. I did attend Saturday school. Uh, I grew up in Port Richmond, Philadelphia, and we had a Polish school uh, right across the street from where I lived. I think I'll, I only went for a year though, honestly, and uh, it was pretty boring. It was pretty lame, honestly, and also super disorganized. It was just a bunch of kids at different levels uh, in the school and uh, so you had kids that like didn't speak Polish and kids that spoke Polish well so it really like it wasn't very beneficial uh, the things I really remember from that school was uh, doing the Polish folk dances I kind of feel bad for those like women or well, they're usually women but those those teachers who were Polish language teachers in Poland and then they came to America and then they're like oh yeah I guess I just have to work in like some crappy Saturday Polish school I love using Duolingo I use it almost daily probably like five days a week and I think it absolutely helps me with the writing portion especially because you are composing the language uh, on Duolingo most of the time and I highly recommend using that especially as a beginner's course and even if you I mean Duolingo is great like regardless of where you are in your language learning journey because you just find what you need and then you go in and you strengthen those skills definitely do not use any uh, la language apps or learning apps for, for Polish 
maybe I should. Um, I would imagine that if you don't speak Polish, I don't know that those apps would be helpful to you. Like, and it doesn't help you at all if you don't understand grammar. Like, if you, you, you know, maybe you'll learn some words, but you're not going to be able to like understand how to create a sentence from uh, an application like Duolingo. I would say if you're if you're actually serious about learning a language like Polish from scratch then you got to get a teacher and in fact uh, recommendation my recommendation is if you're serious about it there's plenty of uh, Polish language teachers who live in Poland who'd be able to help you at a, probably a much cheaper price than if you did it here in the US so uh, if anyone wants a, a good teacher you know write in the comments and uh, I can I can recommend someone My sibling is most definitely not fluent like I am. In fact, I would say that his fluency is barely there. And I think a big reason for that is that he's just not as connected to his Polish heritage as I am. Even though we grew up in the same house, with the same rules, with the same parents, only five years apart, doesn't matter. If you don't have that intrinsic motivation to want to learn this language that isn't easily accessible to you, you do have to kind of go out of your way to learn it a little bit more, right? Or to communicate in it. Then if you don't do that, it's gonna slip away. Like, yes, does he understand most things? Of course, but can he communicate the way I can communicate? No. As I mentioned before, my sister is eight years younger, so she was already born in the U.S. and she never, she grew up in Florida and uh, we did, we stopped, you know, like I said, I live in Philadelphia, I grew up in Philadelphia, a lot of Polish people in, in my neighborhood in Port Richmond, but when, when she grew up, she was already living in Florida, there's not very many Polish people where we lived or almost none in this, in the town we lived in, so definitely weren't, weren't any young people, so for her it was like, and she never really visited Poland too much, so for her, Polish was never something that was important, uh, and she she didn't really care as much. Although she did go to university in Poland, but in English, of course, uh, it was an English uh, school, English language school. Uh, but you know, for her, uh, even living in Poland, most of her friends uh, she communicated with them in English. So, in a lot of ways, she's just not that interested in, uh, in maintaining her Polish or, or even spending time with Polish people or in Poland. So, it was never a priority for her. For me, uh, I feel a little more connected to my Polish identity and my uh, Polish nationality. So it's interesting when I am in Poland and I'm talking to somebody I don't know, like let's just say I'm at a store. At first, you can definitely tell that they have no idea that I'm not, while I am a native speaker, I'm not a native consistently speaker, right? Like that language, although it was my first language, English has been my dominant language. So they won't notice that first, but then the more you start speaking and the more they can hear your accent, it becomes very obvious. And so I'll get compliments like, oh, you speak really well, you, but I can tell that you don't normally speak Polish. For me, definitely people can tell that I am an American. You know how like sometimes you'll hear like a French person speaking English and you're like, oh yeah, that person's like definitely French just from their accent. That's how I sound when I speak Polish. Um, however, you know, again, my Polish is, I, I would say, very good. And most people say very good. I just have an accent, which I don't have a problem with that. I mean, British people have a different accent than American people. And that's the way I think about it is that, you know, we grew up here. We grew up speaking, you know, differently. Even Polish people who are super Polish, like my parents, you know, they've lived here for so long that they started using different words that they're taking, they're borrowing from English and then like turning them into Polish words. Yeah, people can for sure tell that I am an American, although I've had one or two instances where people like didn't notice, which I don't know how that's possible, but I've definitely had people that they're like, you know, we've been talking, we've had like a full blown conversation. This happened to me just this last summer. And then I was like, yeah, you know, and after like 20, 30 minutes, I was like, yeah, cause you know, I'm from the US and they're like, what, really? You're from the US? And I'm like, 
yeah, you didn't, you can't hear that? And they're like, well, now that you mention it, I'm like, what do you mean? I thought everyone could hear that. So generally speaking, people know that I am from the US. Thanks, Dave, for coming to my channel and sharing your Polish fluency journey with me and my viewers. I hope we get to do something next time. You're very welcome, Catherine, and I hope that your viewers enjoyed it as well. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bardzo dziękuję. Do widzenia.